What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Nano Dimension, ticker symbol NNDM, and we have a lot to go over about this company today. They released some acquisition news, so we're going to go over exactly what that means for the company going forward. ARK Invest sold off about 300,000 shares, so we're going to take a look at the exact amount of shares and the amount that they sold off of, and we're also going to take a look at some of the short interest in NNDM and how it's been rising a lot over the past couple of days, and we're going to take a look at exactly what that could possibly mean for the stock going forward. So if you guys enjoy the the information that I provide in this video, please go down and hit the like button and hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn on that notification bell so you're never late on any one of these new videos that I post and you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. We are almost at 10k subscribers. I cannot thank you guys enough. We are almost there. If you guys could hit that subscribe button to push me over that mark, I I would be very appreciative. So let's take a look at the article that came out about NNDM today. If we go over here, we can see uh, that basically uh, Nano Dimension, an industry leading additively manufactured electronics, uh, printed electronics provider, announced today that it has engaged Carl Square in addition to Needham and Co to advise on acquisitions in Europe. Carlisle is an investment bank with offices in Berlin, Copenhagen, Hamburg, London, Munich, and Stockholm. Carlisle supports companies and their shareholders to assist in implementing their M&A goals, that's mergers and acquisitions. Carl Square has already introduced Nano Dimension to several attractive targets in Europe. That is very important. As I've said before, and we're going to go over a little bit later in this video, this shareholder meeting that is coming up for Nano Dimension on the 15th is incredibly important. And I've said a lot in my last videos that I need to see something out of NNDM on who they're going to be acquiring or just what process and what steps they are taking uh, in order to acquire companies and expand their business. And this article does exactly that. So let's take a look at what the CEO has to say about this. So uh, Mr. Johav Stern, president and CEO of Nano Dimension, commented, our M&A search over the last two quarters has evolved and we have expanded its geographical footprint. We are now focusing on two kinds of acquisition targets. One will dramatically expand our go-to market channels and give us exposure to vertical markets while other targets include a set of companies that have transformative technologies and products which are complementary to our product roadmap. Now, the CEO has come out and said in the past that he is looking to build a monopoly in the 3D printing industry. He has said that at the current time, there is no other device or company that is a direct competitor for NNDM. And if a company comes out of the woodwork and actually is a strong competitor, Nano Dimension is just going to buy them. The CEO has also said that they are looking at acquiring or merging with one to three companies in the near future. So if we can continue on in this article, the present ubiquity of special purpose uh, public ac acquisition vehicles, SPACs, especially in the U.S. market, is causing price surges of certain targets. Hence, we are using the opportunity to filter out valuations that don't fit our business model. Since we have strong cash reserves, we are accelerating our technology and product development forward beyond the plan of mid-2020. I am confident that with the help of our investment banking partners, we will expedite the M&A process to synergistically support our growth plan. So what's important about this, uh, the present ubiquity of special purpose acquisition vehicles, uh, it, the surge of certain price targets, um, that basically means that all of the companies that they were looking at acquiring have such higher valuations right now that previously they did not have enough cash on hand to be able to complete these transactions. That's why we've seen NNDM do so many capital raises over the past couple of months. They're sitting on a billion dollars of cash right now. Now, let's get into why I think that this is a really, really good sign for investors going forward. If we take a look at this uh, uh, this SEC filing that NNDM has filed, filed, the proposal that they are uh, introducing is to increase the company's registered share capital. So following the approval of the company's board of directors, the shareholders of the company are requested to improve an increase to the company's authorized share capital by NIS $1.25 billion. Accordingly, after giving effect to the, to the increase of share capital, the authorized share capital of the company will be NIS $2.5 billion divided into $500 million ordinary shares 
par value NIS $5 each. So essentially what they are doing, as we can see right here, the board of directors believes that increase of share capital is appropriate and in the best interest of the company's shareholders, especially considering that the company is in the process of evaluating certain acquisition opportunities. So basically what they are saying is that they need more money in order to do what they want to do in the mergers and acquisitions space. Previously to today, this kind of didn't really mean anything to a lot of investors. A lot of people were planning on voting no uh, on this proposal. But since they have come out and said that they have actually partnered with an investment bank and they are actually in the process of acquiring companies, we just don't know who they are yet. That is a very good sign to me. I've said in the past, I just need to see something. We need to see them uh, combined with an investment bank to see exactly who they are acquiring. We need to see the fields that they are acquiring. And this article actually gives us exactly that. They give us the two kinds of acquisition targets. One will dramatically expand our go-to-market channels and give us ver uh, exposure to vertical markets, while other targets include a set of companies that have transformative technologies and products which are complementary to our product roadmap. I think this is amazing news overall for NNDM. Now, although this acquisition news is very good in, uh, for NNDM in the near future, there was something that happened yesterday that we have not seen before out of the investors of NNDM, and it is interesting uh, that this happened especially yesterday. So if we come over here, we can take a look at lucidtracking.com, and this is going to track ARK Invest buying behavior of NNDM. So we can see that they have been buying NNDM in large amounts in ARK W and ARK Q over the past week. But yesterday, when the stock went up 2.91%, they sold off about 300,000 shares or $3.6 million worth of NNDM. Now, a lot of investors were kind of spooked by that, and that's not a very good sign because we saw ARK Invest buying up all of these dips in, a, in very large amounts, and randomly, they just came out and sold 300,000 shares in one day. Now, in general and in total, ARK Invest has about 11 million shares of NNDM. So 300,000 shares is a substantial chunk, but it is not any massive uh, part of their position size. What I'm thinking that happened is that it was February 1st when ARK Invest did this. I'm thinking that they are doing some rebalancing in their ARK Q portfolio and setting up to buy NNDM in some of their other ETFs, uh, especially the IZRL ETF. Uh, I think just in general, they were rebalancing. They have about 11 million shares of NNDM, putting their position size over $100 million, which a small cap company uh, having such a large position size in NNDM. And DM. Uh, I really don't think that this is a massive issue uh, for the long term. I really think it was just a rebalancing play, and they are going to be using these funds to buy other companies, maybe even NNDM in some of their other ETFs. We have also noticed that the short interest is also rising for NNDM. So the short flow is now currently sitting at 36.48% of the overall float. So this is pretty high. Everybody's kind of seen uh, what's been going on with GameStop and Nokia. I don't think that anything like that is going to happen with NNDM, uh, but the short float is at a high enough point that if NNDM does get enough steam and they come out with a lot of good news about their Dragonfly LDM, or they announce a good acquisition partner, uh, these shorts could get squeezed. It's not gonna be anything like what we saw with Nokia, AMC, or GameStop, but this is something that you need to keep on your radar that a lot of people uh, are betting against uh, NNDM. So overall, I really like NNDM long term. We saw it have a massive run up earlier this year and kind of had a little bit of a sell off after they announced that shareholder meeting where they want to increase the amount of shares that they can issue. So we're kind of in a consolidation period right now. I think we're going to stay in this little window until we get to this shareholder meeting. And depending on what happens at the shareholder meeting, they may disclose a specific company that they are looking at acquiring, which could uh, in entice people to vote yes on this proposal because if they have more capital, uh, they can acquire a uh, higher valuation company, which could be more beneficial to NNDM long term. So I think NNDM is a long term play. I think ARK Invest does too. And I really don't think that sell off of the 300,000 shares yesterday is going to be that big of a deal. I think in the next couple of weeks, we will see ARK Invest either reposition that money back into NNDM at a lower price, put it into another ETF. 
ETF or into some other stocks. But still, they do have a large position in NNDM, which is always a good sign to see uh, when such a successful actively traded firm like ARK Invest is putting a lot of capital behind this type of company. I also think that the market for uh, additive manufacturing and 3D printed electronics is going to increase a lot in the near future. As we saw with the investors report, uh, the market for these products is going to go up a lot by 2025, and they're able to really uh, significantly reduce the time to market uh, through this type of manufacturing. So that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed what I had for you in this one, please go down and hit the like button, and we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. So if you guys could go down and hit that red subscribe button, I would be really appreciative. Uh, I can't thank you guys enough for giving me this platform. Uh, I really hope you guys had a profitable trading day, and I'll see you guys in the next video.